Sometimes the sparingly soluble salt can form highly soluble complex ions, which are essentially comprised of a central metal atom or ion with other molecules or atoms forming dative bonds with it. You've probably heard of some complexes, like aluminum hexahydrate. The formation of complexes in a solution can make a sparingly soluble salt much more soluble than it would be in solution. Take for example, lead to chloride. It is insoluble in dilute HCl, but highly soluble in concentrated HCl. Let's look at the dilute case first. There are chloride ions in the solution, which by Le Chatelier's principle pushes the dissolution of lead to chloride backwards, making it in more insoluble than it already is. We would expect that this effect be amplified in a concentrated HCl solution, but for lead, it is able to form a complex with chloride ions, and this complex is the lead tetrachloride ion, which only forms when chloride is in high concentration. And this complex is soluble, and because of the formation of this complex, Pb2 plus and Cl minus are removed from the solution, and the original dissolution reaction, which still occurs, now has its equilibrium position shifted to the right. For another example, CO2 plus solution and the addition of ammonia. This is a qualitative analysis test, but it has complex ions involved. When you add a few drops of ammonia, a light blue precipitate of copper hydroxide forms, which is an insoluble salt, as we know, or sparingly soluble. In addition, the addition of excess ammonia, however, causes the solution to turn blue. This is due to the formation of the tetraamino complex, which tetraamino copper complex, which is deep blue and soluble. The equilibrium position of the original dissolution reaction also shifts to the right as copper and ammonia are being removed from the solution to form complexes. How exactly do we know if two compounds form a complex or not? That's a good question. Generally, apart from a few standard cases like this one, where you know beforehand that something is a complex, in most questions, they will tell you if something is a complex or not. So don't worry too much, but know how to explain how the formation of complexes affects solubility.